Hi, I'm John Montgomery, Director of Program Management for Visual Studio and .NET. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at some of what's new in Visual Studio 2017. I'll start by showing how Visual Studio 2017 improves productivity for every app type and for everything from code navigation to code quality. Then I'll look quickly at the improvements for mobile development and cloud development. And finally, I'll wrap up with how we've made Visual Studio faster at everything from startup to shutdown. We worked hard to make Visual Studio 2017 more productive at the things you do every day. Just to pick a few examples, we added a feature to debugging called Run to Click, so you no longer need to set temporary breakpoints. To help you maintain a readable code base, we added more quick actions and refactorings, like move type to matching file. We also made Navigate 2 much more powerful, with better filtering and preview. And we added IntelliSense filtering, and made IntelliSense much smarter about which element it selects by default. We've greatly improved navigation. We brought together all the navigation items together under the Edit menu, and we greatly improved Navigate 2, which we now call Go to All, or Control T or Control Comma. So as I start typing, Visual Studio will open the things I'm finding in temporary files in the dock view. And when I find the one I want, all I have to do is hit Enter to open the file. We've also improved IntelliSense, adding filters, for example, to take long lists and make them much more navigatable. And IntelliSense is much smarter about finding capital letters. Here I typed capital S, capital V, and it knows I probably want a completion that has those two capital letters. Even better, IntelliSense is much smarter about picking the most likely property instead of the top property in the list. In this case, it knows I want padding property. We've also fixed Find All References. The window here now has color, it has grouping, and even better, it has a little peak preview so I can see where I'd be navigating to. And I mentioned that we had improved debugging. So here I'm going to set a breakpoint and hit F5. And when I hit that breakpoint, I'm going to be able to navigate to lower lines of code in the application without setting a temporary breakpoint thanks to a feature called Run to Click. So here I see a little green glyph. And when I click the little green glyph, execution completes right to there. And on top of that, I get another little glyph. This is our perf tip. The perf tip is telling me it took about 90 milliseconds to run this line of code, which is about what I would expect. But if it had taken too long, all I'd have to do is click it to bring up my performance diagnostic tools and immediately get to work solving the problem that I found. So altogether, a bunch of improvements to the productivity of Visual Studio 2017. Visual Studio 2017 also gives you the option to make the editor come alive with early warnings when things might not be going right. Live code analysis, for example, runs your analysis rules and flags issues in the editor, so you can quickly identify errors, best practices, and style rules, or apply one of many refactorings, code actions, and code fixes. Live architecture validation provides real-time notifications of architecture rules violations. And live unit testing brings coverage and pass-fail information discreetly into the editor. Unit testing is an important part of creating and maintaining quality code. Live unit testing helps you quickly see whether the code you're writing is covered and if the tests that cover it are passing without leaving the editor. Let me show you. I'm going to start by turning on live unit testing. A second later, you should see a glyph appear in the left side. In this case, it's telling me this line of code is covered by zero tests. Let's do something about that. I'm going to use Visual Studio to quickly scaffold up a simple unit test. Visual Studio will write the test, drop the test in, and immediately start running it in the background. And you can see it's failed. Now that makes sense. This is an assert fail. And if I paste in some code that should work, you'll see that it's passing. And back here in the editor, I get the glyph that's telling me it's passing as well. A very simple way from within the editor to see if you're writing quality code. Being able to create great mobile apps is now table stakes for everything from internal employees to your consumer presence. Visual Studio 2017 makes it easy to use your existing skills with C Sharp, JavaScript, and C++ to productively build mobile applications for Android, iOS, and Windows devices. JavaScript developers can use Cordova and Ionic to build apps that share all their code. C++ developers can build native libraries they can share across all mobile OSs. 
And most importantly for c -sharp developers, Visual Studio uses the Xamarin technology to create fully native apps. Apps that have native UI, use native device capabilities, and have native performance with up to 80% code sharing. Visual Studio 2017 adds many useful features for mobile developers, ranging from a previewer for Xamarin forms to advanced profiling and live inspection for Xamarin mobile applications. It also greatly improves the speed and reliability of editing, building, and debugging mobile applications. Cordova developers will also be able to take advantage of a browser-based simulator that includes support for Cordova plugins. One of the hardest challenges in mobile development is testing, both generating the tests and running those tests against a large enough set of real devices that you have confidence the app will be right for most of your customers. Visual Studio 2017's mobile test recorder makes it easy for you to generate test scripts by running the app and recording the actions you want to test. You can run UI tests locally, or once you've completed creating tests, you can export them or upload them to the Xamarin Test Cloud in one click, where you can then run your tests on thousands of real devices in the cloud, something that would be nearly impossible for most of us to do. Just as the cloud changes how we can do mobile device testing, the cloud changes how we develop software, from the architecture patterns we use, to how we deploy and update applications, to the development processes we use. Even if you're not using a public cloud like Azure, the learnings about how to do cloud development will have an impact on how you develop software. Visual Studio 2017 will make it much easier to bring these practices into your development. It also includes integrated tooling to package your applications into Docker containers and to deploy them to the cloud. And Visual Studio 2017 improves DevOps workflows, from better Git-based version control to much simpler experiences to create continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines. One of the most notable advances is the support for .NET Core. With a single gesture in Visual Studio 2017, you can take a .NET Core application, target it to Linux, package it into a Docker container, and then publish it to a Docker registry and run it in the cloud. Once deployed, .NET Core will run your app fast. According to the Tech Empower benchmarks, .NET Core is well into the top 10 platforms in terms of performance and considerably faster than today's ASP.NET. Speaking of performance, Visual Studio 2017 is notably faster at everything from startup to solution load to typing to debugging. We measure the performance of Visual Studio both in our test labs and using the telemetry from people who are in our customer experience improvement program. And across the board, VS 2017 is faster. Up to three times faster for a cold start, two to four times faster at loading solutions. C++ developers will get much faster builds with the Fastlink option, and overall VS 2017 will use less memory. But the easiest way to show some of these improvements is to load a really big solution side by side in Visual Studio 2015 Update 3 and in Visual Studio 2017 and see how long until Visual Studio becomes responsive. Here we have VS 2015 and 2017 loading the .NET compiler platform, which has over 130 projects and nearly 4 million lines of code, and then doing a navigate to operation. When VS 2015 starts, it scans installed components, initializes default settings, and initializes caches. VS 2017 either defers or eliminates a lot of that, and a feature called lightweight solution load loads the projects only when you need them. The result? VS 2017 is usable in about half the time as VS 2015. Visual Studio 2017 can also install more quickly. The new installer is lightweight and componentized, factoring Visual Studio into independent workloads that just install the components you need. A minimum installation of Visual Studio 2017 can take a handful of minutes and a few hundred megabytes. You may be wondering if this minimal core of Visual Studio is still useful. Thanks to VS 2017's support for the ability to open a folder and TextMate bundles, the minimal core of VS supports over 20 programming languages. Let me open a folder and show you. Here I have a folder that includes some Go and some Ruby, as well as YML, Markdown, and other things. And you'll see Control, comma, Navigate to works. It opens the files in the temporary doc well. When I find the one I want, I can open it and I get IntelliSense working. 
So a snippet gets inserted. And completion works the way you'd expect. So right out of the box, this minimal installation of Visual Studio is still useful for over 20 programming languages. Our goal was to make Visual Studio 2017 be more productive for everything you do. It's faster. It makes it easier to create mobile and cloud applications, and it includes a host of features that will improve everyday editing, debugging, and testing. For more information and to download Visual Studio, go to visualstudio.com. While you're doing that, watch some of the other videos about what's new. And once you've had some time in the product, tell us what you think. Just select Help, Send Feedback to report a problem, provide a suggestion, or just to rate the product. Have fun with Visual Studio 2017, and thanks for watching.